Okay, so here we are again with you guys, and uh, there is Karam, and uh, welcome to GS Academy. In my today's lecture, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, demonstrate about the uh, elements, some elements with some Latin or Greek names, right? You can just use the word Greek as well. I want to use it Greek, right? So what we are going to talk around here is that. In periodic table, you just find some elements. Uh, by name, you just get yourself confused. Like if we just think about it, let's talk about an element named as sodium, right? So when you talk about sodium, you just goes in a big deep thinking that why it is sodium. A symbol is something like a name. So what I can guess is something like natrium. Its scientific name in an old language was when you know uh, Latin was a language for the world, and it was named as natrium at that time. So, but now in today's world, English is going to be the ruling language at the moment, the international language. So, it's something like sodium at the moment. But in the previous, you know, so era or history, we used to call it as natrium. So, if we just think more. Let us think about this element, right? This is known as uh, potassium normally, right? Potassium. But you used to call it as kalium. Its original scientific name, right? So if we just think more about it, let's talk about another element, which is something like, uh, okay, I'm gonna write this kalium only, right? And we just call it as tungsten. Tungsten. Okay, so G is there, right? Just getting confused. Tungsten. So that's the tungsten, but we used to call it as Wolfmere. It's its original name, basically. Wolfmere. Wolfmere, you can just call it as. Uh, I think it's getting something confused around here. You can check it out and you can comment that you can help to some other people. So here we have iron, right? But we used to call it as ferrum, right? And we have copper, but we used to call it as copper. We have silver, this is silver, we call it as argentum. Here we have mercury, but we used to call it as hydrogyrum. There we have lead, but we call it plumbum. Then we have something like tin, but we call it stannum. Then we have antimony. So I'm just, I'm, I think so. I'm just not getting spelling wrong. Just check it out by yourself. So this is not basically antimony but we call it as stevium and we have gold but we used to call it as aura you can just say it as euro whatever you want to say but we used to call it as aura so that's the scientific name for this this is the scientific name for this there we have wolfmere or wolfmere and there is ferrum and there is copperum and there is argentum then there is hydrogyrum, then there is lead, and then there is something like stannum, we got stevium, and in last we got something like gold. So what I wonder, I have helped you in those elements in the periodic table which, which have some confusing symbols. But uh, from today's lecture, I think you will be able to come to know about all these points and uh, you, you will not really get confused anymore. So I, I really wish that this video is a kind of helpful material for you, right? So what I'm thinking more, this it belongs to the group one, this belongs to group one, and Wolfmere. Let me check it out for you. Wolfmere belongs to something like group six, right? Uh, why I'm doing this? Because uh, I'm gonna help you out that where where they are standing in the periodic table, right? So we just think more. Iron stands in something like group. Uh, what I can guess. 
Just give me one second. Yes, I got it. So it's standard group eight, right? It standards group eight. And copper is you know what? Let me tell you one more thing. Copper, silver, uh, gold, these three guys, these are also known as coinage metals. Copper, silver, gold. These three guys are also known as coinage metals. Why we used to call it as coinage metals? Because uh, we make coins. We make coins. We make coins by these three, you know, elements. So copper, silver, gold. I think so. They belong to a one group, and uh, they belong to group number eleven. Group eleven. Group eleven. And there we have group eleven, right? And if we just talk about hydride iron, it belongs to the group number twelfth of the periodic table, right? That's the group number twelfth, right? So lead, we go ahead then. Lead belongs to the group number fourteen, right? And tin and antimony, these are the two guys, and they belong to the group something like tin and antimony. Fourteen again, right? Tin belongs to fourteen, and antimony to fifteen. This belongs to 14. Here comes the first. Here comes the second. In the same group, this comes first, and this comes on a second place, right? And uh, this is antimony. Antimony belongs to group 15. So there we have idea, right? So I hope this video is very helpful, and uh, share it with your friends. You know what? The knowledge increases when you share it. So what I can say, you can share it. Because when you share it, the other people will come to know about the point, then you will discuss and you will memorize it more nicely. So that's it for today's lecture and uh, I hope I have helped you in this. Thank you so much.